Hey y'all, what's up? It is your girl Tosh. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Hey, 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 hey. You guys, it is finally time for a speed reviews. Now, I have not done one of these in a month or two. I feel like there's a reason for that. So, you guys know that I've tested out a ton of product. So, there's going to be a lot of product that you're not going to see in this video. And that either means that I didn't love it enough to put it in the video. I'm still testing it out or I feel like I haven't used it enough in order to give you a final verdict. So if you guys are curious to see what actually made the cut, then just keep watching. All right, y'all, I know y'all are not used to me filming with my glasses on. I got a little bit of a headache going on right now, so I decided to just film with them on. You are going to see me in several videos in this tank top because I'm too lazy to change. <laughs> I filmed, uh, this is my third video today, so it's just a super busy week. Hope y'all don't mind. Let's get into it. So I do have some faves in here and I also have some fails. We'll get into it. Let's do the fails first. So. I started off liking this product. This is the e.l.f. Mint Melt uh, Cooling Face Primer. However, as time went on and I continued to use it, for some reason there is something in here that my skin does not like because every time I wear this one, I break out. And it's the weirdest thing. I can do the, deli, or the Jelly Dew Primer, the watermelon one that I still have. I can wear that one all day long. And I feel like I don't break out. But the minute I use this one, I do every single time. So this is a pass for me. Now, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about it um, when I you know, first tried that out or whatnot. The Jelly Dew Primer or whatever it is. The watermelon one. The red one, the wet one, <laughs> but I can't wear that one every day either because I feel like that one will make me break out. But this, I can't wear this one for one day and I'm breaking out. So not sure what it is, but I decluttered this out of my collection already. Moving on to the next product, I am bummed about this one. If you know me, you know I live and love a good lip balm or lip mask. I'm super big into lip masks right now. So when I saw that Revolution... Um, X friends came out with a caramel latte lip mask. I mean, can we talk about this box? This is so beautiful. You would think that when you opened it, it was going to be something to talk about. No. First of all, it comes in a glass jar with a pink lid that says Central, Central Perk, I think it is, the coffee shop that they hang out at. And it's just really boring all the way around. And then when you open it, First of all, it does not smell like anything. It's just this white liquid, white balm, whatever. Um, and it's okay, but it tends to leave a white cast on your lips, especially if your lips are needing that conditioning because they're chapped and whatnot. It's just not like their other lip mask that I've tried. And so I cannot wait to use this up and get rid of it. It's just not anything special. We're gonna get into a couple more of their lip balms here in a second, so definitely pass on this one. Unless you're just buying it for collection purposes, but the only thing cute about this is the box. So the next product I have not tested on camera. I actually wore it today, um, and I've tested it one other time. This is the Anastasia Eye Primer. I see why some people like this and some people hate this. So I just have the little deluxe size. I think I got this one time when I ordered a palette. I think the Amrezy palette. But um, this is just really drying on the eyelids. So if you're somebody that has super dry skin, including the lids, I would definitely steer clear of this. If you have oily lids, this will be a game changer for you because it's instantly mattifying when you apply it to the, the lids. So I'm either going to pass this along to my mom or a friend or something. I don't know if I'm going to finish this. It's just too drying for me. So the next product is by Amoris. This is their eyeshadow primer in matte finish. Um, I like the clear side, like it's cool, it works, it's okay, but this side right here, I feel like emphasizes texture that I don't see on my eyelids unless I use this side. It's the weirdest thing, um, but the clear side is good. 
It's one of those things, again, if you have oily lids, you will love this. It does an amazing job with their shadows and other shadows. It really makes them pop and it will keep them on all day. It's just I have dry lids, so I also have wrinkly lids, so it's just not a good fit for me. The next product is this Joa Lash Up Rising uh, Mascara. Love the packaging, super cute. You guys know that I love Joa, I love their products. Unfortunately for me, this was a no-go. One, the wand is just too big for me. So when I go to get into my lashes, it's poking me in the eye, it's all over my eyelid. I just, and to me, this formula smells a little funny. I'm sorry, Joa, I love y'all, but it is what it is. <laughs> It's just not my favorite formula either. Um, I feel like it flakes pretty bad on me, so this was a pass for me. The next one is also a mascara. It is by Essence, and this is the Falsies Lash Lashes Mascara Dramatic Volume Unlimited. I love the formula and the wand for this until the formula dries, and that is when there is mascara everywhere under my eyes I mean and it's not even a couple of hours and it's everywhere so unfortunately this is a huge fail for me I love their other mascaras but not this one the next product I have not tried on camera yet um, and I'm still kind of up in the air about it I know a lot of people love this one this is the elf sheer tint finishing powder for me, the minute I applied this, I felt like it was dry skin city, and it's supposed to be a sheer finishing powder, so I was a little confused. I think I might give it another go, but for right now, I would not recommend this. Um, actually, you know what, guys? I've used this more than once. My bad. So, I don't know. It's just, I guess I thought it was going to be hydrating or something, so I don't know. Maybe I'll give it another go. It feels really soft and... It is super sheer, not providing a lot of coverage. It's just so far, I'm not the biggest fan of it. All right, so we are going to move on to some products that I have not been able to put down, products that I'm loving. So get yourself a drink. We have a full bin here. <laughs> so the first product is actually not makeup, but a body cleanser. This is the Terra de Mars. Um, number 008 uh, Redition Body Cleanser. Sorry, guys. So this is a really low foaming cleanser, but it's really herbal. And when I'm in the shower, I like to double cleanse my body as well as my face. However, I just use this on my body. Now, this has coffee extract. It has verbena. It has aloe vera. Um, and it's not so low foaming that you don't get any lather at all, which was what I was worried about. However, this is very expensive. This is $22 for 5.7 ounces. So unfortunately, once this is gone, I will not be repurchasing it, but I do love it. I really do. I just feel nice and clean, hydrated, and I love the herbal scents in this. If I can find a dupe for this, I will definitely let you guys know, but for now, I am on the hunt. Great body cleanser, not my price range. <laughs> All right, so the next one, I'm almost embarrassed to tell you how much I love this, <laughs> but I do have a dupe for you. So, this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer. This is the hydrating one. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I love this. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it quite a bit. The only reason I ordered this, and this was during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I got this for half price. So I think I paid $13.50 for it. That is the only reason that I picked it up and tried it. However, if you use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, that is a dupe for it. It's an amazing concealer if you can find your right shade. Me, I know what shade I am in Tarte. I've used several of their products over the years. And so this was a no-brainer for me. But the coverage of this, it lasts all day long. It's creamy. It's hydrating. But the coverage is to die for the fact that they have now come up with a way to provide that coverage that we love without the dry, cakey look and feeling. I'm loving it. I love this. I'm sorry but I highly recommend. 
So the next product is a little bit more affordable. It's very much more affordable, and I'm going to talk to you about the Believe Beauty uh, Radiant Glow Loose Setting Powder. I, yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost halfway through this. I have not put this down. I'm wearing it today. It is beautiful. And for a glowy powder, it sets the face down really nicely without using a ton of product. It's just the most beautiful glow without highlighting all of your texture. There's no dry look to the skin. It looks plump and radiant and youthful. And I freaking love this. And this is only five dollars. Five dollars. You can pick this up at your local Dollar General. I wish they sold it online, guys, but for right now, you have to get to your local Dollar General to pick this up. It only comes in one shade, which is Golden Pearl, but it's pretty translucent. I've talked to some of you guys that are my mocha skin babes, and I know that some of you have used this and loved it, so there you have it. It's translucent, guys. It just sinks right into the skin, Ugh, and it sets your makeup down all day. Five bucks. I already have a backup. All right, so two products that I want to talk about, if I can find them both. Here's one. I just saw the other. So, if you love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, you have to try these next two out, you guys. I cannot get enough of these. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but I don't like the $20 price tag. Revolution launched the Vanilla Lip Sleeping Mask, which is a dead-on dupe for the Laneige Vanilla one. And they also launched the Berry Lip Sleeping Mask. I had to grab both. I love these so much. When I tell you these are the exact same thing, they are the exact same thing. When you put this on and you look at your lips, it seriously looks like you put on the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It does the exact same thing. I wake up in the morning, my lips are juicy, plump, they're hydrated, girl. And they smell amazing. So I know that a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with Revolution because they do dupe a lot of products and they have no shame in their game. But here's the thing, a lot of us and a lot of you watch my channel because you love the affordable options that I bring you because you don't have the extra money to spend $20 on a lip sleeping mask. Well, now you don't have to. And I'll say it again because I know there's a lot of people that don't know. Check the description box if you are interested in any of the Revolution products that I um, talked to you guys about because they now ship within the US. It's super fast. You can save 10 bucks off your order by using that. And these are, I think, $9. So great, great buy. I've had these for a while. I've been using them for a long time, ever since they launched, actually. And you guys saw how much I've used of it. I use these every day. Every day. All right, we got to move it along because I am dragging this video out, and I apologize. So the next two items are mascara products. Do I have another one? I do. We're going to talk about three mascara products. So one is the Essence Volume Lash Booster Lash Primer highly recommend this is amazing literally one two and you're done priming your lashes and they are like va va boom okay the next one i cannot believe that i like this you guys because it is gym proof and waterproof this is the essence you better work volume and curl mascara this is the bomb.com Usually waterproof formulas are really drying. This one is not so far. I don't really care for the curved wand. It's really not my vibe, but if that's your vibe, it does do a good job at helping curl those lashes. So it's a pretty good mascara and it doesn't flake. It doesn't smudge. It's waterproof. Great combo. Okay, the next one that I have been loving actually with this lash primer is the Believe Beauty High Definition Skinny Mascara. This one just has that super skinny wand that I love. This gives me volume, volume, va va boom lashes for days, girl. It's $5 or under. You can pick this up at your local Dollar General. The next product that I have been loving is another face primer. This is the NYX High Glass Face Primer. If you guys saw my Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer video, if not, I will link it here. This is the primer that I used under that, and it just gives you the most beautiful glow. So if you want to see what this looks like on the skin, definitely check that video out. 
Um, I don't know if it really helps your makeup last all day long, but y'all know I love a glow, so. All right, the next product that I wanna talk to you guys about, actually two, they are skincare products. If you have been a longtime subscriber of mine, you know I am a big, big fan of Good Molecules, and there was a reason for that. And now, just last week, they gave me yet another reason of why I am so proud to be an affiliate and a part of this company. They have made such an impact in the skincare industry and made so much money off of their amazing products that actually work and that were already cheap to begin with that they are now passing their savings on to us as consumers. And a lot of their products, they've lowered the prices, you guys. So hit that link down in the description box. It lets them know that I sent you over there. And I appreciate it because every time you shop with Good Molecules, I do earn a small commission now and it helps support the channel. However, y'all know that I loved Good Molecules before I became an affiliate. So two products that I'm loving right now, this is my new one, my backup. This is the Good Molecules Hydrate and cleanse bar y'all I have never loved a cleansing bar for my um, cleanser because it always dries my face out this one does not it's a beautiful just hydrating foamy thick lather I apologize for my phone family is texting me <laughs> So it's a beautiful, beautiful, thick, creamy lather, and you could just feel how hydrating it is. It only takes a few seconds to lather this. Put it on your face, do your little 40 to 60 second wash, rinse it off, and girl, you are hydrated and so squeaky clean. This was six or seven dollars. You can now pick this up for five dollars. Get a pretty big bar of soap in here, and it lasts a super long time. I use mine every day, and I'm still going strong, but I had to buy a backup. So the next product I raved about and rave about and rave about, this is my third tube of this. This is the Yerba Mate Awake Up Eye Gel, and this is an amazing product to use in the morning. Super hydrating. It has like a slight cooling effect to the under eye, so if you haven't gotten a lot of sleep and you use this right after you use their caffeine eye, like the under eye gels, Girl, it's gonna look like you slept for eight hours. And if you have dry under eyes that are, have some lines in them, like mine do, I mean, a lot of us do, this kind of plumps those lines so that your concealer sits really smooth and looks hydrated and beautiful and not dry and crepey. This is, what, $6? I don't know if they um, lowered the price on this one yet, but even so, six bucks, it's so worth it. It's a nice, thick, creamy formula. I don't want to open this one because I'm still using a tube, but it's it's amazing, you guys. Had to tell you about that. Okay. So, we are going to talk about some Joa products that I'm obsessed with. I think I have them all right here. So number one is this new eyeshadow palette that they came out with. Super pigmented, it's beautiful, and this lasts all day long without creasing on the eyes. It's affordable, and this formula is very different from their original stuff that they first launched. If you wanna check that out, definitely check that video out. You can see it all there. This is the Endless Longwear Lip Color in the shade Dessert. Super long wearing, beautiful shade. This lasts all day long through eating, drinking, unless you're going to eat something oil-based. Obviously, that is a great remover for these kind of lip colors, but last all day without cracking, drying off the lips, audit, audit. The next one you can also see in that video, the next two, is the Crystal Glow Refreshing Luminizer Skin Mist. You guys, I use this every time I do my makeup almost, and I've only used it down to there. It is the finest mist that I have ever had, and it has hyaluronic acid in it, so it's good for your skin. It just gives you the most beautiful, youthful glow without looking greasy or without feeling greasy. And to me, this really does a great job at priming and locking in your makeup, so great, great product. The other product that I've been loving is their Crystal Glow Jelly Balm Highlighter. You can get the most natural glow out of this by using your fingers to tap it in, or you can build this bad boy up and you can glow from the heavens. So great, great product. All right, y'all, so we do quickly have some more Believe Beauty products. If you have not seen my newest Believe Beauty video, there you go. 
So the first two products I want to talk about is their newest liquid lipstick shades. These guys are right here. You guys, these are great. They're nice and hydrating. I'm actually wearing it underneath my gloss today. I think I'm wearing the shade Charmed. These are non-drying to the lips. They last a very good amount of time on the lips through eating, drinking, and all of that. And the shades that I have them in are Tea Time as well as Charmed. So just really two pretty nice nude-ish colors. And again, I don't know what they did differently with these two shades. To me, these are a little bit more hydrating than the other ones, but I still love those as well. So nice, affordable option if you're looking for some new liquid lipsticks. The next two items are face items. Well, they're three items, my bad. First one is their new Trio Highlighter. This is the Luminizing Glow Trio in Sandstorm. All I'm going to tell you is I highly recommend. It lasts all day, smooth and creamy beautiful glow Whew. the next one is their blush and second chance now i do have the shade galatin or gala galavant i think it's galavant very beautiful but this one is really really beautiful too you can mix these together and have a nice beautiful glowy blush they don't emphasize your texture i've always stayed away from glowy blushes because of that but this one does not do that, and you can either wear either side, mix them together. You guys, these are $5 and under at Dollar General. So, they perform like high-end makeup to me. The next one I was really, really surprised that I loved so much, but this is the new Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer. It is a glowy bronzer, which I have never loved until this one. And this is in Toasted Bronze again. So as you can see in there, it is swirled. It does have some shimmer to it, but the look that it gives is just so beautiful and glowy. And if you're going for that kind of vibe, it does not highlight texture. This lasts all day long on the skin. Y'all, don't sleep on Believe Beauty if you haven't tried them. They are amazing. Now this next one, I was really, really surprised with how much I like this. This is the Midnight Express Eyeshadow Palette. And it's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous pigmentation. They did a beautiful job with this. There's not a ton of fallout. It does kick up some powder. It's a $5 eyeshadow palette. But if you're on a really strict budget, these are amazing little palettes. They don't fade like crazy fast on the eye. They last a very good amount of time. I would say you could get eight hours or more out of this. So definitely a nice affordable option if you're on a strict budget so the next product i want to talk about is this i think it's kab and it is a lip oil this is in the one rum punch and then i also have honeydew so i have been using these like crazy throughout the last couple of months so i did get these in a boxy charm um i got one in my um subscription boxy charm i got the other in my pr boxy charm you guys i love these lip oils they have the large dofa applicators, so it's literally a one and done, one, done, and you're done. They smell like candy, and they are so hydrating. Um, I've used this one the most, obviously, but I use these during the day. After I'm done with my lip mask at night, I put these on as soon as I get done. Um, you know, getting ready for the day, brushing my teeth and moving on, but I carry one around in my pocket all day long. I love these. They're just so plump and juicy and they give you your lips that nice smooth look like your lips have no lines but also nice and plump and they keep them nice and hydrated. They're not sticky. They give you a nice little tiny wash of color but love these. The next product that I want to talk about I also got in my boxy charm it is another lip product and this one shocked me. This is the first time I've tried a Laura Geller product, and this is her Iconic Bake Sculpting Lipstick in Metallic. This is Broadway Glitz. If you saw, I'll post that video right here. I actually tried it on in that video. This is stunning. And I do like some metallic lipsticks, but not a lot. And I just, this color for me is everything. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. You don't feel it on your lips. I mean, ah, so pretty. I did post yesterday, I believe it was, that Laura Geller had 50% off. So if you were lucky enough to catch that sale, comment down below. Let me know what you picked up. 
So before we get into palettes, I want to talk about the next couple of loose products that I have. One is by Amoris, and this is their new Velvety Kiss Matte Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Moody Brown, and this is the one that I've been gravitating towards the most. It's just a really beautiful nude shade. If you'd like to see this swatched, you can check out my haul video here. Very nice, not drying to the lips, and very long lasting. The next product is also by Joa, and this is their lip gloss in Milky Way. I do have another color somewhere around here that I picked up, but this so far is my favorite. If you want to see this one applied to the lips, you can check that out here. For a lip gloss, it's just very nice and long lasting. It's not sticky. It doesn't do that little thing where you go. It's just very comfortable on the lips and very affordable. So the next product, again, it is also another Joa product. This one blew me out of the water. When I see an eyeliner that says it's waterproof or long lasting, I don't tend to believe it. But this one really is. This is the Make Her Jealous eyeliner and it's in the shade Black is Black. Now I love this because it also comes with a sharpener on the end here. And it's just one of those liners that just glides and you can, you know, make it more intense and it doesn't budge until you take this off. So if you're looking for a drugstore liner that is worth your money, definitely check out the Joa one. So we just talked about how I've never been into Luminous Blush. Now a while back, I did place an order with Becca. We all know Becca's going out of business at, um, in September. So if you are trying to get products from Becca, make sure you are shopping those and stocking up. I got this as a free gift, and this is the Shimmering Skin Perfector Luminous Blush in the shade Camila. I actually want to go back and buy the full size because when Becca goes out of business, I don't want to be without this. This looks intimidating, but it is so beautiful applied to the cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you because I don't think I used this in a video, but I did wear this for my birthday, and I absolutely loved it. So here it is on my hand. I mean, you could build this up, leave it, you know, just like that. And when you blend it into the cheeks, it just looks so beautiful with the right amount of glow that does not emphasize texture. And it lasted all night on my cheeks. So I really think I'm going to buy the full size of this. Moving into palettes, we have the Cran Case Notepad, the yellow edition. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out. It is my second story time on my channel. I think that if you are a newer subscriber, you might enjoy that one. But this is a stunning palette. The Crayon Case makes stunning eyeshadows. This does come with a mirror. I believe these are only $12. And I am telling you, you are getting what you're paying for. I would pay more for this. They're just so beautiful. And I know that yellow palettes can be intimidating to some people, but you can really get everyday looks out of this, I promise you. So definitely, definitely worth checking out. You know, you've got, if you cover this right here, this is a nude look right there, pretty much. And then if you cover this side, I mean, these are all wearable looks. Beautiful palette, it lasted all day long. No fading whatsoever and for the price I was surprised I do also have the orange one haven't tried that out yet but I love this the next product is also by Essence I was late to the game and checking this out I do love their pure nude highlighter sometimes I use it as a setting powder sometimes I just use it as a highlighter but I finally picked up their pure nude highlighter palette the reason I got this is I needed or I wanted free shipping from CVS so you do get four shades in here and I love all four shades. So if you're a shade twinsy, I think you'll love this palette as well. I like to use this lighter one in the inner corner. I've used this palette in videos. If you guys want to go check them out, I will link the video for you. But just stunning. These last all day long. Again, they don't highlight texture. And for the price of this, it performs like high end. I'm, I'm not even kidding. All right. Moving on, next palette I did a video with. I will link it up here. I actually wore the palette in the video, but I didn't use the palette in the video, if that makes sense. This is the Baby Got Peach Palette by ColourPop. 
If you like peach eyeshadows, you need to get this. Their nine pan monochromatic palettes are amazing. They're just, they're, they're so effortless and they're so pigmented. They last a very long time on the eyes. And if you're somebody that's new to makeup, these are foolproof because they're all the same tones. You know what I mean? It just makes it super duper easy for you to use. Love these. So another product that I got in my BoxyCharm that I am loving and I kind of wish I wasn't, but I am. <laughs> it is the Lime Crime Venus 3 palette. And this is beautiful. If you like shades of pink, purple, this is stunning. This is so, so stunning. Now, there is a video that I wore this in. I, I'll try to post it um, if I can remember which one it is. But you guys loved the eye look. This is a palette that I used. Now, these last all day long in the eyes. They don't fade. Super easy to work with. They're buttery, you guys. They're just... They're so good, and I know that Lime Crime can be a little on the pricey side, so I will link my Macari link down in the description box. People sell their unused BoxyCharm stuff on there for dirt cheap, so you just gotta look. All right, so two more lip products, and we will finish the last couple of palettes. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick. These are the reformulated ones, and this is in the shade Lush. I really enjoy this. This is one of those shades that is work appropriate, but can take you into a night of going out with the girls. So really, really nice. Um, I don't feel like these are as drying as they used to be. Not to say that they're not at all, but for a $1 lipstick, these are a good buy. I highly recommend. Um, I don't feel like they cracked up on the lips like the previous ones did. I don't feel like they get like that super sticky vibe like the other ones did. There's a tiny bit of stick, but it's not like it was. So they did a great job with these. The next product is also by Amoris, and these are, this is one of their brand new Sleeky Kiss Plumping Lip Glosses, and this is in tan orange. This is the shade I've loved rocking. Now I know this looks a little intimidating. Again, if you check out that haul video, you will see me swatch this. It's not, it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade now it does have some sparklage in there but you don't feel this on the lips these are not sticky they're long lasting glosses and they have a nice minty plumping effect that's not painful but it does plump the lips now you guys knew this was coming if you've been watching my channel and i was actually a little bummed because i don't feel like a lot of people saw the videos so i will leave those linked up here in a playlist if you want to check out my amoris playlist amoris launched three palettes this year right off the jump the first one they launched was cosmic dream if you want to see that video i did a beautiful look using this palette i love these palettes I don't know, there is something different about the formula in these three palettes that I'm gonna to talk to you about that were launched this year. Um, I feel like these are the exact same formula as Femme Fatal, which is my all-time favorite palette from them. Um, this one you can no longer get on their website. However, I will leave you a couple websites down in the description box where you can still pick this up. Um, this is no longer, as of right now, coming back to the Amoris website, so. It sold out very quickly. There's a reason why. Check out that video and you will see this beautiful, beautiful palette in there. The next one that they launched was Dazzle Charm. Again, another stunning palette that I love. The formula is amazing. It's creamy. It's a buttery. I've turned so many of you on to Amoris. Now you guys know why. Let the girls that don't know know down in the comments why you are loving these palettes as much as I do. Again, you can check this out by checking out my Amoris playlist. This one is still available on their website. 32 shade pressed pigments. You get everything in these metallics. They've started putting duochromes. There's matte shimmers. Girl, $15. And the very last one that they launched was another one of my favorites. I actually compare these um, in the videos because a lot of people say that these look like palettes they already have, but I debunked that. We have Hibiscus Dreams. This is another stunning one. Um, and I do compare this to their Havana Blast palette. Again, beautiful formula. All day long, they last on the lids. They don't fade. $15 for 32 pressed pigments. 
all right you guys i'm gonna wrap this up that was one of my longest speed reviews ever i think i tried out so much makeup and i do want to make a special mention before i get out of here one product that i have not been able to put down in case you guys were wondering actually there's two i'm lying are these two guys right here we have the joa perfect uh bb cream this is amazing so stunning so lightweight beautiful coverage but it looks like your skin all right and then we also have the milani glow hydrating skin tint i love mixing these i have been wearing the crap out of these you guys and i've never gotten so many comments on my skin like compliments um it's my skincare and it's these right here this one i think is $8.99 depending on where you buy it and this one i'm not sure i will link them down below for you and i will also link the videos up here for you all right you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me for another speed reviews i hope you guys found some amazing products that you are loving yourself i want to know what your favorite products were from the last two months so please comment down below you guys know i love chatting with you i hope you guys are all staying safe and that you're in wonderful spirits when you are watching this i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next one bye guys